Today I want to show you how fast and easy is to align your drums and replace them for samples in a Studio One. I'll demonstrate this with a track I'm mixing right now from a Barcelona band called All Harper, so let's listen to the track. Okay, it sounds great and maybe okay for some genres, but imagine the client asks you to place the drums in tempo. So first of all, it's important to know that kick and a snare will be our guides. Studio One has an option to detect transients, so let's do it. Select kick and a snare, go to audio band and hit analyze. Usually a threshold at 80% will do the job well. Once we are shown the transients, we should check if some was skipped or missing. In fact, this step can be done together with the next one, but then you wouldn't be able to check the transient detection before cutting the drums in many pieces. Okay, so more or less, I think I could even say it's 100% perfect. Okay, so once you are sure everything is more or less okay, the next thing is to group all the drum tracks by pressing Ctrl G or Command G in Mac. So now when I select one track, all the tracks in drums are selected. Now let's open this menu, Guides, and here we only want kick and one of the snares to be our guides, so unselect the others. And you can also go here and select 160 bars in the quantize section, which will be okay for almost every song. This will determine how frequently the hits will have a line to be aligned. So if we have all the drums selected, let's go to this other part. First of all, make sure that a slice is enabled. Quantize is also okay, but you don't have as many options as in a slice. Then we can enable auto fades. We also want auto fill. So if there are spaces after cutting, Studio One will fill them automatically. And we want to quantize 100%. So now we are ready to hit apply. Now we have lots of cuts, everything cut. In principle, Studio One has placed every kick and a snare on grid, according to the tempo set in the song. But it may be not 100% perfect, so what I recommend you after doing that is to listen the drums to review. The first thing I would recommend you is to go to Studio One Options, Advanced, and make sure you have this option enabled. This way, you see the bars through the events. And it's easier to edit. So let's listen to the song and see if Studio One did the job well. Now I found a place where drums weren't placed correctly. Let's listen to it. This kick is out of place, it should go here. I can move without affecting the event while pressing Ctrl plus Alt. Also make sure that you only select the part you want to affect. And be aware with crossfades because you have to adjust in a way where the Alt kick, the alt hits, don't appear. Well, as you can see, it's almost everything perfect. 
So after having reviewed all the drums, what you can do now is to bounce all the tracks. And I like to show you that this audio band is also good for bass and guitar. So in case you recorded the bass before placing the drums in tempo, you can do it afterwards. So now let's move on and do some drum replacement. In this particular song, the right leaks a lot in the floor tom. Before the video, I muted all the parts where there wasn't floor tom, but there's still a lot of leakage when it sounds. Notice it? So now in Studio One I can replace the floor tom in five short steps. First one, inserting a drum MIDI instrument like Superior Drummer. Step two, while having the drums ungrouped, move the floor tom track to this section of Quantize menu called Groove, and this will create the groove which will become the velocity in the MIDI instrument. Three. Drag this groove in the MIDI track. Number four, place the notes in the line of floor tom. In my case, here. And finally, number five, mute the old tom. So let's hear the comparison. That's simple, then you can adjust a little bit, for example, the velocity. Maybe this is too high. Let's try it now with the snare. Okay, so that was all for today. If you like this video, feel free to share it. You can subscribe to my channel and see you next time.